coordination number of three so looking at this diagram you can see that this is our anion and this is our cation in the center right so we'll be denoting this guy as ra and we'll be denoting this guy as rc kindly take notes now i'll be raising that away okay so guys looking at this triangle right we know we are consigned with just three lines i'll be drawing it out here again so we have this line then we have this line and we have this line sorry so this is our point a right and we have been told that this is our point p and this is our point o but one thing to understand is we have a radius we have two radius in this place so we have like a radius here the radius of the cation so we have it to be r c then from this point right down to this point we have our radius of the anion which is the neg negatively charged one at the bigger one which is r a right then we know that if an equilateral triangle is um 60 right if this is 60 degree then half of this place this region alone will be 30 degree so now we already know this angle then we know the length of this place which is addition of both radius okay, so since we know this is 30 degree angle right then we know that the distance from here to here is just the radius ra if you check right can you see from this point to this point alone is r a but the reason we did addition is because this is r a then this is now r c so that's why we are adding r a and r c here and here we are only using r a for the distance right so this is going to be our adjacent then this is going to be our hypotenuse then we know we are using since we have adjacent and hypotenuse that is ka so we are doing cos theta so our cos theta sorry our cos theta which is 30 degree is equal to adjacent adj over hypotenuse whereby our adjacent is ra here is our adjacent which is equal to ra radius of anion over summation of radius of anion and cation so remember that when we talk about ratio of cation to anion, our goal is always results to r over rc over ra this is the radius of cation to anion that we are always looking for so we need to always resolve to this is equal to something 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 right so let's erase this and continue with our calculation so if we input this into the calculator we have our uh, cos 30 degree to be root 3 over 2 which is equal to r a then r a plus r c right so in continuation we cross multiply then we have our root theory times r a plus r c which is equal to 2 times r a so if we expand this bracket before we call it like terms we are going to be having root theory r a times r a plus root theory times rc is equals to 2 r a so now we have our r a on this side right so we need to divide all through by rc collect like terms so we do this by saying root 3 rc is equals to 2 r a this is positive so when it crosses to the other side it becomes negative root 3 of r a so we divide both sides so in continuation, our goal is to result to R A is equals R C over R A is equals to something. So as you can see, we are close. Now what do we do? We cancel all through by root three, right? Then we cancel all through. We divide all through by R A also. So before we jump there, let's do this. R three times R C is equals to. We have two minus root three collecting like times r a so this is easy for us to understand so we know on this end we are dividing through by root 3 on this end we are dividing by r a so we do root 3 dividing both sides by um, by product of root 3 or multiplication of root 3 times r a then root 3 times r a so here r a cancels r a then here root 3 cancels root 3 
which results to RC over RA is equal to sorry is equal to 2 minus root 3 over 2 is equal to root 3 over root 3 so by the time we punch this into our calculator we should result to 0 0.155 cation to anion ratio is equal to 0 0.455 thank you guys make sure you subscribe